solving simultaneous linear equations. Here's the problem. Three ways to solve it. There's the beginner method, a better matrix method. Examine the problem. Here are two equations and two unknowns. We want to solve for x and y. This problem occurs often in engineering. They are linear equations because both x and y are raised to the first power. We'll start with the beginner method because you probably know it. The beginner method may be the easiest to understand, but it's not the recommended method. Solve the first equation for x and then substitute it into the second equation. Then solve that equation for y. Then substitute that value of y into either equation to solve for x. This method quickly becomes very difficult as the number of equations increases. A better way is using the TI-89 calculator. It uses the solve function, which explains itself, but pay close attention to the exact format if you use it. However, the matrix method is better. It also uses the TI-89 calculator. It requires fewer keystrokes, but explanation is needed. Two equations can be put in matrix form. This is a matrix equation. Its relationship to the original equations is obvious. The four coefficients of x and y are placed in the 2 by 2 matrix. We will call that matrix A. The unknowns, x and y, are placed in the 2 by 1 matrix that we will call B. And the constants are placed in the 2 by 1 C matrix. And now we solve the matrix equation for B. The solution is A inverse times C which is a linear algebra technique. Look at the small number of steps required for this solution. Notice the bracket and the comma and the semicolon. This is one reason why the matrix method is best for solving simultaneous linear equations.